you get special glitter stitches and I get special glitter stitches and our projects get special glitter stitches. Um, Merry Christmas edition. I'm wearing my stocking swag of a candy cane headband and these snazzy sunglasses. I'm so excited. Okay, today is Ask a Knitting Fairy Godmother. So go get your project and you can knit along. Part of my knit a is that practice and repetition are the best teachers. And I feel like I can do a better job explaining what I was trying to say last week. So I am modeling practice and repetition and trying this again. And hopefully what I say this week will be more clear than last week. So it's a do over. Last week I talked about the one step rule, which is how I learn new skills in knitting and how I approach choosing a new pattern or a new skill to try. And I think I'm changing that to change one variable because I think that's a more articulate way to say what I'm trying to say. And we're adding one new element. So, I'm going to use an analogy because I like analogies and stories. Right now it's Christmas. We're all listening to Christmas music um, on the radio or on our streams or however you listen to music. And sometimes you get tired of the same songs. If anyone has ever worked retail during fourth quarter, you know what I'm talking about. The Christmas music gets old, it's the same playlist, and you're just tired of it. So if we take that idea of Christmas carols and change one variable to listening to the Muppets Christmas carols, or maybe we listen to Motown Christmas carols, or whatever your favorite thing is, maybe it's like kazoo orchestra Christmas carols, I don't know. But we're keeping the Christmas carols constant and changing one variable. In this case, it's the artist singing the Christmas carols. That's the one variable idea. And the way that I apply that to my knitting is in, I take my base foundation knowledge, the things that I know, and I keep those constant, and then I add one thing. So that could be the size of the yarn. Maybe I know how to make a hat. I have made a hat in worsted weight yarn and I change the yarn weight to either bigger or smaller. So then the yarn weight is the one thing that I'm changing. Maybe I have, I'm really comfortable knitting with size seven needles in a worsted weight yarn and I've knit a lot of things back and forth flat. So I'm knitting flat back and forth and I want to learn how to knit in the round, how to make a hat. So then I would choose a hat that had worsted weight yarn on size seven needles and the new variable would be knitting in the round right knitting in the spiral so that's the one variable rule that i use when i knit and especially if i'm going to a um all of our in-person knitting conferences there's such a thing i'll talk more about that later have shifted to digital so when I go to things like a knitting conference or when I'm learning at home um, in my knitting conference, I use the, the tools that I'm most comfortable with. So I always go back to my worsted weight yarn, my size seven needles, and I use the tools I'm most comfortable with to learn a new technique. And unless the class is specific and has very rigorous rules around what tools to use, my go-to is the worsted weight size seven needles. So to recap, when you're trying to learn um, a new skill in knitting or in anything, try to change one variable. So keep the, keep constant 
most of the project, 90% of the skills and the tools and add a little bit of newness. So that would be the one variable. And I talk more about this in my newsletter. You should sign up at knittingfairygodmother.com. And that's everything for today. So enjoy your Sunday today. If you want to ask a question for next week, you can leave a comment on this post, or if you want to be anonymous, then send me a direct message and I'll be happy to record the answer next week. So have a great day, everyone. Keep knitting.